On this episode, we travel to Guatemala, a destination full of color and fashion inspiration. Here, textiles and patterns are a way of life, but there is more to this beauty ritual. First, for some history, the Huapil comes from the Nahuate, the main language of the ancient civilizations in Central America. The word Huapil means mitapao, or something that covers in English. Huapiles were mainly used for ceremonial events, showcasing the traditional Guatemalan weaving techniques that are one of a kind. The art of weaving has been taught from generation to generation to maintain the heritage and pass down viable insight about shape and design. La semilla, sí. Ahora aquí está el quetzal, sí. Las semillas, el caballito, mira, sí. Todo esto representa las estrellas, todo, sí. These elaborate process and materials used to make guapiles, the colors, shapes, and patterns have been repeated for centuries in an effort to maintain tradition and heritage. To better understand the beauty of textiles, I wanted to go to Lake Atiklan, which is also surrounded by small villages that you can only get by boat mostly, and learn from these women who are weaving these amazing, beautiful pieces. My first stop is to go meet Delfina, who works at Casa Flor. Traditionally, guapiles were made using cotton and agave fibers, while using cochinita, tree barks, indigo, and coffee were used as natural dyes to produce the colored threads that you see and are obsessed with. I know that I am. Then broader designs can have animal, plants, or even astrology-related interpretations. Designs and color symbolism varies depending on the community where the piece was woven. But the reason we're here is to meet Delfina, an artisan behind this amazing nonprofit. Nosotras somos tejedoras, hacemos tinte natural, hilamos el algodón a mano y para nosotras este proceso es muy importante porque lamentablemente eh, Guatemala sufrió de una invasión donde quisieron borrar todo lo que somos y nosotras como grupo queremos rescatar todo esto, mantenerlo vivo y que nunca muera lo que somos realmente. Pues los colores eh, para mí representan energías las energías de todo, supongamos el amarillo puede representar la energía del sol, de la luz, el azul, eh, la energía del agua, el verde, el de las plantas, el rojo, nuestra energía como seres humanos de la sangre, eh, y el negro que también representa la energía de como que lo oscuro, lo, lo oculto, para mí los colores eso es lo que significa energía, estamos rodeados de energía. Pues Guatemala representa mucha cultura, mucho arte, muchas energías y para mí eh, ser de Guatemala, ser maya es un orgullo porque nuestra cultura maya fue una de las culturas mucho, muy poderosas eh, en el mundo porque a través de ellos también se descubrió el número cero. Entonces algunas personas eh, dicen o piensan que ser maya es algo... Eh, no sé, muy bajo, pero para mí yo me siento muy eh, orgullosa y me siento muy feliz de tener estas raíces y también de apreciar lo que somos. I wanted to understand how this process actually works, so Delfina is going to give us a little behind the scenes. We are working with four different types of cotton. Rose in white, which everybody knows about white cotton. Also we have the Ishkako, Ishkako is representing the Mayan women because Ish comes from Ishok, which means woman in our Mayan language. Kako is the brown color which represents the color of our skin and also represents the energies of the earth, Ishkako. It's all natural cotton and they work with four different kinds, as you saw. They first beat up the cotton to get it ready for the process. They hand spin it to get it ready to dye. They work with over 40 plants to create these beautiful colors. Now the first step is to chop up the plants and put them in boiling water. Now you're going to allow them to soak in this dye for three to five minutes. The final step is to soak them in cold water because that's what's gonna seal in that color. It's a process, but how amazing is that this artisanal way of weaving is still very much alive here in Guatemala. Thanks for coming with me, beauty exploring another destination around the world. Till next time, beauty travelers.